Welcome back to Dawson Design and Production Company. Today we are talking about the Apple MagSafe battery pack versus the Anchor MagSafe Attach battery pack. By the way, I'm using an iPhone 10 with a MagSafe ring in my case. So both of them connect to the back of my iPhone and will provide it a charge. The Anchor one will not turn on automatically. You have to click the button on the back and then it will start charging. So that is kind of an annoyance. I love that the Apple one, once I stick it to the back, it will just start charging. If we're just talking about design, I much prefer the Apple. The white looks dope. Nothing against the black, I do like the black as well. I like that it has the rounded edges but they come to a straight corner because it will magnetically attach to the back of my phone and look like just a regular attachment on my phone rather than this where it's kind of rounded all the way around. That bothers me. Uh, they both have very similar texture on the back. The Anchor one is just a bit rougher. The Apple MagSafe battery pack feels kind of like the Apple Pencil. It's that same texture. It's not glossy plastic like the AirPods, uh, so I feel like it's not going to scratch as easily. They, they both attach very well, like I can shake this, I can shake this, and neither one is really going to fall off. If either of them is too loose, it would be this one, like I do feel like I could push that off, but that's probably because when I'm holding on to it, I have to like grip in. One thing I really like about the Anchor one is that it has USB-C. So you can take the USB-C cable, plug this in, and then plug this into any iPhone. Whether it has a MagSafe case or it has MagSafe built in or not, you can charge any iPhone with this and it charges through that port. This is like the battery that I've always wanted and then it has wireless charging and magnets which makes it even better. I've had this battery pack for a little over a month and I really enjoyed it but then two weeks ago the MagSafe battery pack came out so I was like I have to compare and $100 versus $40, it's it's quite the comparison. You're paying an extra $60 for the design, for the fact that it has lightning, which is what your phone has. I don't know if that's a pro or con. And for it to just work like an Apple product. So that's what you're paying the extra $60 for. I don't get those features like having it connect to my phone and tell my phone how much battery it has. I don't I don't get any of that because I don't have the newest iPhone. I have an iPhone 10. I would definitely recommend the Anchor battery pack, but I do love the Apple battery pack and it's hard to not recommend this, uh, but it is $100. So $60 difference. Uh, I do want to say that it is $30 cheaper than last year's option because it doesn't require that you have a case. The iPhone 12s have $30 cases, you can get those, and then you can get this, and you're spending the exact same that you would have spent on a battery case last year for the iPhone 11. This just has the option for you to not have to get the case. You can just get this, stick it on your phone. If it's an iPhone 12 mini, it's going to like just attach and be the same width and it's they look they look amazing when this is on an iPhone 12 mini. I really like this product and it would be my go-to wireless charging battery pack if it was not for the existence of this already. I believe it has more battery capacity because it's thicker. It has USB-C charging. This just kind of outsells that in features especially being $60 cheaper. So that is about all I have for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below, later. I am literally charging 
the MagSafe battery pack from Apple with the Anchor version. So that's kind of funny.